The sales manager is without doubt the most important screen on the Roman Cart web control panel and the reason for that is simple. It's because it's where you can view the transactions that have taken place on your cart and you can do things like order processing and changing the status of the orders and all sorts of other things as well. So this is an example sales manager here from one of our demo stores and it's just got demo data in it which is why there's a lot of transactions by the same person but um, you can see here that each transaction uh, is shown in a row and each row has got a number of different columns. So I'll just explain what each column means. We've got the order number here. If you click on that it will show you the order details in a pop-up window. We've got the Roman cart invoice number. The store ID is shown next and you need that if you're using the view sales from multiple cart carts option at the top. Then the transaction date, the name of the customer, you can click on the name and it will take you to the customer relationship manager where you can view more details about that customer, the total value of the transaction, the payment type which is the payment gateway that was used in the transaction, the payment status, the shipping type, the shipping status, the dispatch column uh, will show you uh, the dispatch status of the item as well and also you can click on the icon that appears there or the button and you can set items to dispatch, you can part dispatch orders and you can trigger the dispatch email to be sent. This column, the next column, D email, that is whether the dispatch email has been sent or not and it also shows whether multiple dispatch emails have been sent for one order where there's more than one package in the order. The next column is notes, you can click on that button and add some notes to the order and if you do it displays an icon such as this so that you know there's all notes against the order. Then you can click on the next link to view a printable invoice and view a delivery note. The next two columns show whether the merchant email and the customer email, these are the confirmation emails were sent, but also it can show other icons as well such as these. You can, you can configure Roman Cart to send you an alert and send the customer a follow-up email uh, if they abandon the checkout, in fact if they abandon the actual payment page uh, and then after a certain amount of time after the abandonment uh, they can be uh, uh, sent a follow-up email and you're alerted to that. That can be really useful. There's a, there's a separate screencast on that. And now you can also see the uh, the source, which is how the customer heard about you. And you set up the options for the customer to select in Tools, Options, Checkout. In the final column, there's uh, checkboxes. And using these, you can select uh, transactions and then select an action from the drop down at the bottom. And so you can dispatch items. You can, If you're in the UK, you can book delivery with uh, the couriers. Um, you can uh, you can change the shipping status, uh, the payment status, and you can also delete uh, transactions there as well. If you accidentally delete transactions, then uh, you can undelete them using this link at the top. So if you need your own statuses, you can click on Add Edit Status List at the bottom and create your own payment or delivery statuses as well, and they can also trigger emails uh, to your customer. And so when you select an action from the drop-down box there, after selecting some transactions, you just click on the Go button and they will take effect. You'll notice that each row has got a color, and you can define your own colors uh, using the Change the Row Colors uh, link at the bottom, and the color is defined by the combination of the payment status and the shipping status. You can filter the transactions which are displayed by clicking on the filter link at the top and then select things like first name, last name, company name and item name uh, to filter by or you can look for a specific order number as well. You can select a date from and a date to range by clicking on these boxes here and selecting a day. Make sure you actually click on a day there as well. So you, if you click on the configure link at the top that's got some options for configuring the invoice you can export the sales data. I mentioned before the not completed transaction alerts. A not completed transaction is where the customer has abandoned the checkout on the payment page. If you don't want to see those, then you can click on hide not completed transactions at the top. And if you've hidden columns, you can hide columns by clicking on the column headers. And if you've hidden them, you can click on view all columns to bring them all back, or just click on the individual uh, column header to bring, that, to bring individual columns back. You can also set up SMS text messaging so that your mobile phone receives an alert when a sale is made. 
If you're printing invoices, then we sell special Roman cart invoice paper uh, so that if you print the invoice onto it, it's got integrated labels, so you've immediately got packing labels as well. You don't need to use a separate label printer or anything complicated. It makes it really easy for packing labels. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can click on these links at the top to learn more and also a link to the uh, to, to the Roman cart store where you can where you can buy uh, boxes of paper there too. So. As you can see, the sales manager is a key part of Roman Cart and something that you're going to be using a lot, particularly if you're the business owner. And there's all sorts of functionality you can do here, and it helps you to manage and keep track of all of your transactions.